Hi all, with you motivator DM fights in which Mike Tyson was defeated. Mike Tyson vs. James Douglas, February 18, 1990, knockout round 12. The first defeat occurred on February 18, 1990. According to experts, his opponent was not stronger, but Mike was still doomed to fail in this fight. Mike Tyson vs. Holyfield, November 9, 1996, knockout round 12. The fight took place in 1996. It is worth noting that before the fight, Tyson rested for 63 days, and Holyfield rested for 183 days. By the way, in this fight, Mike Tyson bit through Holyfield's ear. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield, look out, he's pushed right here. It's like hell, but he certainly had a big bite. And that's a dangerous bite. He bit his ear, I can see the bite mark. Okay. He bit his ear, he's out. See, look at him, you can see it, you can see it. There it is. I can't. They're going in real slow motion. Mike gets in a headlock. And look at this. He just Rematch. Tyson vs. Holyfield. Rematch. June 28, 1997. Disqualification. Round 12. This fight took place in 1997 and became infamous around the world because Iron Mike bit off part of his opponent's ear. Mike admitted his guilt and many years later apologized to Evander and the boxers made peace. Punch him down, he'll spring there, and he'll fire a big shot. There's a big right hand over the top. Watch the time that he hits him. That's a straight shot. That's landed very well. That, that missed there. The point is that Tyson is on the defensive again. Now let's take a look at the butt. Well, I didn't see much butt there. And here comes the knockdown. Now, the knockdown is a surprise, I think, everybody. It's a shot in the chest, Ferdy. Don't hit him in the left of the chest. It's a the defense. He, he comes down. Look at that. Right through. I mean, he's getting tired. He gets fired up. And here comes that champion's heart. And they were landing with accuracy, as you can see that. One at a time, you can see that's the one that did it. See, as he came, as he came in, that's what they've been saying. If you ever catch him, come for his previous experience, came in. He let the other fight go on too long, and he almost stepped in. He's keeping the range in the jab. There he is. He worked it off early in the round, sticking, sticking, smart boxing, choosing his chances and his places to slug. And he just unloads, hook, right hand, uppercut, mixes him up. Mike is in trouble here, and he's just getting teed off on him. But Mike won't go down, and you'll see a good left hand and a right hand here. That started to really be the beginning of the end for Mike. The right uppercuts were landings that Tyson is famous for. He was getting the hit with real deal. Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson versus Lewis, August 8, 2002, knockout round 12. In 1996, Lewis challenged Tyson to a fight, but Mike chose to fight Holyfield. In 2002, their fight did take place. Each boxer received $35 million for the fight. More recently, Lennox Lewis said that he was ready to return to the ring for a second fight with Mike Tyson, but on condition of a payment of $100 million. Tyson is in difficulty! Oh, it's better, it's better. Heureusement, the mains are for the moment! Lennox, Lewis est, est toujours, Lennox est, est surtout 
toujours le plus grand et quelle droite Mike Tyson versus Danny Williams July 30th 2004 knockout round 10 In the summer of 2004 Tyson entered the ring after a 17 month break a little later the reason for such an unexpected defeat for everyone became clear in the first round Mike received a serious knee injury a couple of days after the fight, Tyson was operated on and spent several weeks in a cast. Williams. Mike Tyson versus Kevin McBride, June 11, 2005, knockout round 10. The fight took place on June 11, 2005. The crowd was wildly supportive of Tyson, but Mike undoubtedly lacked precision and drive. As a result, the Irishman won. After this, Tyson announced his retirement. At the 49th annual WBC convention in Las Vegas, Mike Tyson was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most fastest knockouts and for becoming the youngest heavyweight champion of the world. And despite all the defeats, Mike Tyson remains a true boxing legend. Hug! Mike Tyson, you not very effective throughout, and there's McBride's going to say that for him. And on the inside, McBride just kind of... And that is one of the things he's done at. And then here... Five. Well, you know, oh, Tyson last reached the Tyson sixth round. The sixth round. And if McBride actually wins this round, it would be a 10-7 round. Oh. 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 Not a not Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, then like and subscribe to the channel. He wants Joe Cortez to help him. The Clonus Colossus, Kevin!